Hi, so it's time to decorate the can. So I have made cutouts of grass, mushrooms, and some fairies. Okay, so I'm going to attach them now to the can. Let me show to you. I chose to have this uh, butterfly wing for one of the fairies. So I'm going to use my glue here okay so let me get some glue okay and i'm going to attach it uh, what, what glue should you use? It depends on you. You can use the regular craft glue as long as, as it's very sticky. Okay. And for the butter, for the fairy, I'm going to use brush or even my hand, finger. Just make sure every part has been reached by the glue. So you have to be careful when applying glue or working with this drawings because they have thin parts like the hands, the feet. Okay, so there it is. I used this one. Okay, a while ago I attached another one here and another one here. Now, um, this fairy originally is holding a flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use paper twine. I have showed I have shown this to you before. I made in one video I made paper twine using twisted tissue paper or table napkin. So I'm going to use that again so that I can make a vine with flowers for the fairy. Okay, so let's get some glue. I'm using this stick well glue because I want it to, this is stickier than the regular craft glue. after this you you can add flowers or leaves if you want okay so there i attached paper twine so that it would look like a vine maybe i would add another depends on you long you want the vines to be okay this vine is quite thin so I'm going to use the regular glue oh, my dog is barking again uh, you know last night the the storm the typhoon strong one passed by this area of our country and it was really strong and this morning I went out and saw many trees uh, fallen by the wind and now we don't have electricity yet because of the, the typhoon so that's it you just uh, use some paper twine okay i can add some flowers here now let me put some grass i have cutouts of grass I'm going to put some grass in some areas okay so I'm going to use the craft glue so it's up to you you just decorate if you want grass if you want mushrooms I have cuts out cutouts of mushrooms too okay so here it is just decorate
flat in the data. Now, I'm going to show you a material I use, or I have discovered. It's called paper pulp. Paper pulp, you make paper pulp by soaking some tissue paper or table napkin in water. And then later on putting, or maybe putting some tissue paper in your blender. And then uh, after that you uh, call this, add some water and you blend it until no, it's into shreds and you squeeze the pulp yeah now it's in shreds you squeeze out the water and now it would look like this i have some extra you know uh when it's hard uh where, the, where is that i have a sample here of a hard paper pulp okay uh if you leave it to dry out to dry it's going to be hard again okay i must have placed it somewhere so uh what you can do is let's say you get some oh this one is the hard one okay it gets hard so what i did a while ago because i made this uh three months ago i soaked some in water put it in a basin soaked it in water to make it soft again and then squeezed out the water now i'm going to add some glue uh, I'm going to add some glue. It depends on you what kind of glue you want. <laughs> I usually add a mixture of the craft glue and the wood glue to make it, you know, just the right uh, stickiness or softness. And you just mix it with your hand. I, I learned this when my family got involved in export. Uh, handy, exporting handicrafts. So I saw people doing this. Some make use this for Christmas decors to make uh, figures of bears or gingerbread men. Okay, so what you do now, you mix that thoroughly with glue. I'm going to add some more glue here. This now is going to be sticky, and I'm going to add it so that, remember I added the grass. I'm, this now will look like some soil or some uh, moss, which I can uh, color later on. Okay, let me just wash my fingers. So here it is, it's mushy, okay. I added some glue to the pulp. It's now mushy. Okay, hold on. is just get some tool like a spatula if you have a spatula or you can even use your hands let's say you don't have a spatula you just apply it like that okay so it's going to dry up see <laughs> so it's going I'm going to color that later on you know to make it look like some bushes or moss to cover the base of the grass okay. you can use some tools to shape it according to the shape that you want okay. it depends on you as to the shape and it's going to harden just like that okay so now uh, I'm not going to complete all of it I'm going to show you now how to decorate the vines so I have here some flowers. I'm going to get some of my paper flowers and attach some unto, where are my scissors? I'm going 
going to attach some to the vines. Okay, so I'm going to cut off some of the wire. Okay, I cut off the wire. I'm going to bend this so that, you know, for added support. And then I'm going to use some glue. I'm going to use this construction glue. This is really very sticky. Yeah, it, it works best for attaching those flowers. So you just apply some glue. Okay. Apply some glue. And then you stick it to the parts of the vine where you want the flowers to go. Okay? So there. Uh -huh. So I'm going to use other colors. You know that the color of the flowers doesn't matter because anyway i'll be painting this with a base color a black base color and then i'll be making the flowers gold so just for you to see the flowers well i'm going to use other colors because some of the flower when, when i used the white it was not that visible okay so here are the flowers so i'm, I'm going to add some more After this, I'm going to add some leaves using the same step. A while ago, I showed you how to attach the cutouts of grass, right? I have some cutouts of uh, mushrooms too. So I'm going to, later, as I pause the video, I'm going to complete the decor by putting some mushrooms to complete the design. Okay. So where do I, did I get the design for the mushrooms? Google. <laughs> Thank you, Google. So you just Google the designs and there are different kinds of mushrooms. You can see different designs of mushrooms. Okay. I'm folding the wire at the back a bit so that uh, for added support so that the, the flower won't separate once it is attached. Okay. Okay. So here are the flowers. I'm going to add some more. So I'm going to give the fairy a flower because in the original picture, uh, she's holding a flower. I'm going to get one and I'm going to include the stock so that he has something to hold on to and the, the design of the flower is so thin that I no longer uh, included it in cutting so I'm going to place the flower here she's holding a flower Maybe let it tilt a bit. Okay. Or I think the wire is too long. I'll cut it. And then I'll add the glue. So that he'll, she'll be holding a flower. If you've seen the video I made before of... Uh, of the recycled can with butterflies and flowers it's the same thing i'm doing now it's just that i i used fairies as my main design not butterflies okay. the first one is more on the butterflies but now it's more on the fairies okay so okay so okay i remove the stock because it won't be seen anyway. So there it is now. Okay. So the, the fairy is holding a flower. I can add some more of the pulp paper at the base to pretend that she is sitting on, or um, there's this uh, grass on the base. 
or some rocks that she is uh, standing on. Okay. Then I'm going to add some mushrooms. Okay, so for you to see the designs of the mushrooms, I use different styles for the mushrooms. Okay, let's get the simple one first. Okay, so I'll get some glue. So in making the mushrooms, I'm going to make like a cluster of them, different sizes, different heights. There is one, one mushroom. I'm going to add another. Mushrooms are neat. <laughs> uh, in fairy stories, when you were, fairy tale stories, when you were growing up, or even in movies that uh, involved fairies, most of the time you can see them uh, sitting on mushrooms or toadstools as they are called, okay? It's not that sticky. I'm going to use this glue so that it would hold more. So you experiment with the different kinds of glues that you have uh, so that you can use the one that sticks better. There's the second mushroom, and I'm going to add a third one. Okay. So you just continue decorating your can with mushrooms and grass and flowers and uh, leaves, and when we return, I'm going to show you how to paint it. This next step would be painting it with a base color, which is black. And then later on, I'll be adding metallic colors because I want this to be more on, um, you know, fairies usually come out at night. So I want it to be dark and then the flowers won't be pink or red. The flowers will be golden, you know, so that, and then I'll be adding some silver to, uh, Pretend that uh, the flowers were touched with pixie dust, okay? So I will see you in the next video. In the next video, the decoration would be, would be finished and we'll be painting it, okay?